Good evening, I'm Dr. John Werner, Chair-Elect in the Management Department. I'd like to introduce you to Kristen Holton, a freshman marketing major. She's developed an innovative product to help snowboarders share their style and increase their safety. Kristen, the hill is yours. All right, so a couple years ago, I was snowboarding at night, and a snowboarder actually hit me, and his snowboard jabbed into my lower back and actually caused a herniated disc, and that's when I knew that something had to be done about snowboarding safety and ski safety at night. So the problem is visibility is greatly limited on the ski hill at night or in snowy or foggy conditions. The main idea that goes along with that are safety concerns. People are getting cut off or hit by other riders because they can't see them. Also, the second factor is it is a lot harder to see objects potentially that could be in your way, such as trees, fallen branches, fences, or rocks that are hidden in the snow. And these cause damage to the equipment and can injure the rider. So 415 people have actually died skiing and snowboarding in the last 10 years, and collisions account for 90% of these fatalities. So some of the possible needs, this is Nolan. He is looking, he wants to look cool while snowboarding. This is Jennifer. She is concerned about her kids' safety on the ski hill. And this is Kristen. She is focused on style and safety. The second issue that arises is that everyone looks the same on the ski hill. It's easy to lose your friends or for parents to lose their young children as well especially when it's dark out. Also, cell phone service is limited or non-existent on the ski hill because they're usually up north or in places that it's a dead zone. So making cell phone contact is very hard, if not impossible. So the solution, add lights to your board or skis. LED easy, we bring customization to your favorite winter sport by adding an element of safety. So our target market, I tested my prototype and I went snowboarding at night a couple weeks ago. And the feedback I got was, I, I, honestly, I had to take my headphones off for the whole night because people were trying to contact, talk to me the whole night, and I got so many compliments, and people said that they would definitely buy the product. The majority of the people that were interested were skiers and snowboarders ages 13 to 22. So there are three aspects to my company. There are the lights, the proximity sensor, and the app that we plan to develop. First of all, the lights are the cool factor. They're guaranteed to make you stand out on the slopes, and they also add an element of safety by illuminating the area around you so you can see obstacles in your way and avoid hitting them. The kit includes two LED strips that are flexible, waterproof, and shockproof, and they can be cut to desired lengths to fit customers' needs. Also, a rechargeable battery pack and a waterproof battery pack compartment will also be included in the kit. This is an example of what the kit looks like. They have the standard one color kit and the deluxe kit, which will go all the way along the board and change colors. So the proximity sensor we plan to develop, it'll be in our generation two product, and we are currently seeking engineers with design help for this product, and it attaches to boards or skis and can determine the distance between the rider and potentially hazardous objects in their way, such as trees, like I said before, fallen branches, rocks, and it is synced to the LEDs on the board via a Bluetooth connection, and it'll make the lights flash red when you're getting too close to an object to warn the rider. Next factor is the app, which is the easy factor. The feature is that we'll be able to control the lights as well as choosing the color of the lights and creating your own custom patterns and sequences. And here's an example of what the app might look like. The next feature of the app is the social media feature, which will match up riders on the same ski hill based on their skill level. So this is an example, this is Alex, and he is looking, he's an expert snowboarder, and he's looking to be matched up with someone else who's also an expert snowboarder. So he would get a notification saying that he's been matched with Jake Smith and they would end up meeting up and going snowboarding together, maybe have a trick contest, something like that. The last feature is the tracking capability, which would allow users to track their snowboard or skis if lost or stolen. So the market size and value, last year $1.3 billion was spent on skiing and snowboarding equipment alone, and there are currently 21 million skiers and snowboarders um, in the United States today. For our marketing plan, social media outreach would be very big. We plan to have contests on Facebook and Instagram, promotional material, signage hung up at ski hills, stickers, t-shirts, as well as word of mouth marketing will be effective. This is our revenue model. As you can see, we have two packages, the standard and deluxe package, and then the subscription service, which will be $35 per year, and with that, the customers will get new LED strips every year, free downloads for new color patterns, an LED easy t-shirt, as well as stickers. And then the proximity sensor we plan to develop will be $60, and the replacement LED strip will be $15. The revenue projections that I have are 29,000 for the first year, 45,000 for year two, and 84,000 for three year three. My main competitor is a company called Action Glow. 
They also put lights on boards, but they're very expensive, $70, and you're just getting the lights. You're not getting the app or the proximity sensor, the element of safety whatsoever. And they only offer four basic color kits as well. But we are less expensive, only $30 for our kit. We add an element of safety and convenience, customization, as well as we plan to in, in, um, marketing strategies more effectively. My team consists of John and Karen Holton, who specialize in engineering and technology, as well as promotional material design. Dave Sear, who specializes in product development and manufacturing. Joe Kromholz, patent attorney, and Dave G. and Professor William Dugan, who are my advisors and co-directors of Launchpad. These are some of my milestones. Some of my more near future milestones would be perfecting my MVP and creating my social media pages, as well as word of mouth marketing. There are many plans for the future for my company. I like to develop a ski kit like I talked about and an LED snowboard and skateboard kit as well. LED easy, let there be light. Are there any questions? How, um, so you mentioned your competitors are selling it at $70. Yeah. How well, um, how, how well they are doing? Let me put it this way. I tested my prototype and nobody on the hill had seen anything like this before. They had never seen lights on snowboards whatsoever. Um, I saw one guy who had lights on his board and they were action glow lights. They, didn't, they weren't turned on though and it was night. So I asked him, I was like, why you know, aren't your lights turned on? And he said he just bought them and the next day they broke. So his dad was trying to get a refund. So that obviously they weren't very durable. But the main, I want to be different with the marketing strategy. I want to reach out to more customers and have people know my products because these other, the other company, they're not doing marketing very effectively if nobody has ever seen lights on boards before. Do you think your $30 um, cost, is, that includes just your cost of goods? Does that include all the operations, distribution, all of that stuff too? Um, that includes the kit as well as the app download. And how much does it cost for you to uh, make the product? Yep, it depends on the kit. So for the standard kit, which is a $30 kit, the strips can range anywhere from a couple, do a couple dollars to maybe $5, depending where I get them from. I'm working on finding the most effective um, places to get the strips from. The batteries, um, I I'd like to develop a battery pack. Currently I'm using nine volt batteries and they're just, they're a couple dollars for a big pack of them. So they're not very expensive to make the kit. What about just, like street vending, so showing up at the snow hill or where you know snowboarders or skateboarders are and yeah. just trying to sell some initial units. Yep, definitely. I, when I went snowboarding with the mom, with the prototype, people were willing to give me money right there. So I, would, I definitely feel like I have the people skills and I would definitely be able to sell them right from the hill. That's also a very good option. When can you start doing that? Like, why didn't you do that that night? I like to perfect the MVP, not perfect, but I like to make the MVP a little bit more reliable before I bring it to the consumers. But we're almost to that phase. How's the install work? Um, so the LED kits have adhesive, 3M adhesive on the back, mm -hmm. and they stick onto the surface of the board. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, they won't come off unless you want them to come off. But we do, um, we have the subscription service implemented in case they do fall off. Mm -hmm. And then where's the battery and all that? Um, the battery pack, we'd like to develop a battery pack that goes in between the bindings, uh -huh. and the whole kit won't be very heavy, so it should not um, affect performance whatsoever. Judges, any other questions? You mentioned the lighting product, and then you kind of went into the app. Is there either one of those you're going to focus on more than the other, or are you going to try to do both at the same time, and do you know kind of yep. what you'll need then for, to develop both? Yep, um, I'd like to focus on the lights, first of all, because um, that's the feedback I got back for the lights were, like I said, pretty outstanding. And then the second generation product, I'd like to implement the app. And the technology is available for the connection from a smartphone to the LED strip itself. So we're working on seeking engineers with that help as well.